Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to a full body, intense, impact, body weight, yoga fusion class. I'm choosing to call it the espresso shot as the impact version of the coffee cup. We're going to work on the entire body with a focus on obliques and inner thighs. I'm practicing in beautiful Malibu today. Let's begin. Inhale your hands over your head, clasping the hands and go for a side reach, side bend. Over to your left, back to center and over to the right. Open the rib cage, extend the tailbone down, grounding through the feet, lengthen through the crown of the head. Back to center. This time we're gonna grab the right wrist with the left hand and go for another side bend. Keep your elbow back, shoulders away from the ears, extending the tailbone down, changing sides. Lift and open, lengthen, elongate. And slowly back to center. Let's walk to the front of our mat. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, dive down, forward bend. You can shake your head, relax your neck, soften the face muscles. Hands on the floor, plank. Press your heels away from you. Strong body. And let's keep the left hand on the floor. Side plank, reach up and over your head with your right hand, lifting the hips. Back to plank, changing sides, right hand on the floor, reach. Back to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga. Plank, side plank, left hand on the floor, lift your hips. Inner thighs squeezing towards each other. Back to plank. Side plank, right hand on the floor, reach. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide open, walk in place here. Stretching one leg at a time. Lift your hips as high as you can, elongating the spine, decompressing the spine. And let's see, inhale the right leg up, square the hips. Look between your hands, step your foot between your hands and come up high lunge. Press the back heel away from you, extend the tailbone down. Keep your right knee over the ankle, lengthen. And let's reach in front of us, flat back. Bring your left hand on the floor, twist. And reach ahead of you towards the front of your room. Hands on the floor, one-legged downward facing dog, one-legged plank, one-legged chaturanga, lift, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale the left leg up, roll between your hands, step the foot between your hands and come up, high lunge, pressing the back heel away from you. Lift and lengthen, breathe. Reach way ahead of you, flat back. And let's bring the right hand on the floor, twisting to in lunge. Press the back heel straight up and away from you. Lengthen, reach ahead of you. Hands on the floor, one-legged downward facing dog, 
one legged plank, one legged chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, plank, side plank, left hand on the floor. And now we're gonna keep the left leg a little forward so that we can lift. This is a double movement, two st stage movement. We lift the leg up and then we touch the foot 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. These are precise moves targeting the inner thighs. Eight. Nine. And ten. Holding side plank. And let's take one hand on the floor plank. Square the hips. Plank. Over to the other side, right hand on the floor, side plank. Step your right foot in front of the left. And we're gonna lift the leg, touch the toes, one. Lift, touch, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one. And let's take plank, one hand only on the floor, square the hips as much as you can, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. And you can bend your knees here, bring them on the floor, lower the chest towards the floor for a quick back bend. Soften the chest, soften. Great, coming back into downward facing dog. Look between your hands. And let's step the feet between the hands. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reaching over the head, hands over the heart. And let's step onto the right leg, right foot. Left leg goes behind you, warrior three. Level the hips. Bend the right knee. One, and straighten. Two, and straighten. Three, come up. Four, Five, and step all the way back into lunge, lifting the hands all the way over the head. And I'm demonstrating toe touch. Step in front of you, toe touch. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here we're gonna grab the foot and look towards your left hand, looking back, twisting. Look ahead of you, grab the foot with both hands and see if you can do a forward bend. Great. And back to warrior three. We're gonna bend the knee again and straighten one, two, three, four, keeping the hips level, five. And this time, bring your left leg in front of you, wrap it around the right, 
for eagle pose. Left arm underneath the right, wrapping and lifting the elbows up. Breathe into your shoulders, release. Hands over the heart. And let's prepare for the same thing over to the opposite side, the right leg behind us, warrior tree. Level the hips, bend to the left knee, straighten. One, two, three, four, five. And last time we're gonna step back into lunge. High lunge, lift and reach up. Touch your toes in front of you, stepping forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and grab your foot. Look behind you, look over your right hand, twisting. Breathe. Look ahead of you, grab your foot with both hands if you can. You can keep your knee bent. See if you can do a forward bend, do your best. And release back to warrior tree. Hands over the heart, bend the knee and straighten. Two, three, four, five. And bring your right leg in front of you, wrap it around the standing left leg. Let's reach with the right hand forward, left arm up, cross, and wrap them around each other. Lift and soften the back of the shoulder. If this sequence seems quick, just come back to it and you will get in the groove of the movement once you're familiar with the sequence. And let it go. You can shake your legs. We're halfway through. And let's step the feet a little wider than hip width apart, toes pointing out, squat. Hands on the floor, I'm demonstrating a chaturanga push up, back to squat jump. Let's do 10. One, two, Jumping into plank, chaturanga, squat jump, three. Plank, chaturanga, squat jump, four. Five. Stay low in your squat. Six. Seven, strong push up. Eight. It's getting harder. So breathe. Nine. Stay low, squat. Last one, ten. Squat. And hold. And come up to standing. Inhale your hands over your head, hands over the heart, and let's take a wide step out, plie squat, keep your knees back, right elbow over the right knee, side reach, over to the left side, one more time, right elbow, over the right leg, left elbow, over the left 
knee hands over the heart and we're gonna go for 10 jumps small hops keep your knees back and land softly on all four corners of each foot once you're done come into a yogic squat toes pointing out hands in prayer great and prepare for crow or stay in yogic squat if you're not familiar with crow knees over the triceps lift your legs or just one foot can come off the floor back to yogic squat and one more time crow lift squeeze your feet up towards your booty look ahead of you and yogic squat one last time crow lift belly in yogic squat stretching the hips this way when targeting toning and strengthening the inner thighs it's very important to develop the flexibility first so that you can access the muscles properly and let's bring the hands to the front of the mat plank demonstrating here we're gonna do a side kick side to side kick 10 times bringing the leg across and kicking it up one bringing the leg across kicking it up two this is a directly up move four with your foot flexing and your heel kicking up so that you can actually use your inner thigh to move your leg up so flex your foot and really kick with the heel up here for 10 belly in once you're done chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left hip stretching the hips stretching the quadriceps hands on the floor keeping the tailbone tucked under look ahead of you level the hips one-legged plank lift your heel behind you step it back and let's change sides take the left leg up roll the left hip on top of the right bending the knee coming back to one-legged plank kick the heel up step it back down and let's take the left foot between the hands and come up warrior two holding warrior two here make sure your left knee is pointing directly forward don't let it come out in bring your right hand down the right leg and reach over your head reversing the warrior and let's bring the left hand on the inside of the left foot side angle open the top of the body up spin it open and back to warrior two great changing sides turning towards the back of the room warrior two on the right side holding And let's bring the right hand down the right leg reach up and over your head right hand on the inside of the right foot side angle reaching towards the front of the room and 
and coming back to warrior two. Trying to catch up our breath. Great, hands on the hips, feet pointed forward, open the chest and bend forward, wide legged forward bend. Pressing into the inner and outer edges of the feet here. Great. Let's bring the hands to the front of the mat, knees on the floor, and come into a seated feet. It's also the feet together. You can bring your hands behind you and bring one hand at a time on your thigh to help open the leg. Hands behind you, open the chest up. You can even lift your hips slightly here if this doesn't bother your knees. So listen to your body. And let's extend the right leg on the floor, left foot in the right thigh, bending forward. Inhale, coming back up and change sides. Bending forward. Forward bend, breathe, inhale, coming back up. And here we're going to take a wide legged, seated, forward bend pose. Make sure to anchor your hips back. If you bend forward, flex your feet, pull your toes back in towards you. And hold here for a few breaths. I finished my practice with a quick seated meditation, so feel free to do that once you're done with this stretch. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.